Hi there again everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you and this is a fall decor and I am going to be also doing this in collaboration with Tisha from Dollar Tree Home Decor, formerly known as Couponing Forever. So if you haven't subscribed to her channel, go head out to her channel and also I will be linking in the description box below her channel so that you can also watch her video for this collaboration. I know it's still a little early for fall so consider this as a pre-fall and since it's my favorite season of all I have decided to do this collaboration with her. And I'd like to mention also that this is a revamp or repurpose of my DIY and I will be linking in the upper right hand corner the original video and that's what I've been trying to do here in my channel. I don't want to be wasteful, so I'm revamping some of my DIYs or decorating them for the seasons. Since I've had feedbacks before, whenever I am linking back to my original DIYs, they'd rather see also portions of my original DIYs. So in the interest of time, I'm going to show you a shorter version. But if you want to see the full detailed DIY, when I created this piece, go ahead and watch that full version. So what we're going to be using for this DIY, we need two paddle board shaped plastic cutting board from Dollar Tree and also this 11.5 by 7.5 inch art frame, a wooden rolling pin, as well as this waste basket, the wire waste basket, and also a cutout of a foam core board measuring 12 inches by 5 inches and I suggest using E6000 for a stronger hold. So you will start with just removing the bottom portion of the waste basket as well as the rim or the top portion or the opening or the mouth of this waste basket. After removing the top rim and then the bottom portion of my waste basket, I am going to go ahead and cut this wire or mesh using my scissors. And it, this is how it should look like. And then I am going to go ahead and fold this in half and then I'm going to be cutting it into two equal pieces. Enough to fit the frames. And I'm going to go ahead and use the fasteners the metal fasteners that came with the frames and that would put or secure the mesh or the wire in place. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim it to size. And just so you know, I may not show this on this video, but I am adding some hot glue to reinforce my frame and the mesh together because there are not enough metal fasteners to hold them so just so it's more secure as you can see there's some glue there uh, connecting the wire to the frame here I'm going to be adding some hot glue to connect my cutting boards so I'm going to do that on the shorter side of the frame because that's just the exact or the right height that will align with the plastic cutting board. So I'm going to do it on each side of the frame. Again, the shorter side first. You can apply E6000 here. I didn't need to. This has lasted since December without me reinforcing with E6000, but I always advise for stronger bond, please use E6000. So I'm just going to connect my second cutting board on the other side just to close that end as well. I'm putting my piece of foam core board that I pre-cut earlier and that's the one that I'm going to be using as my bottom. So I'm using my hot glue here but of course please use E6000 so that it will be stronger and it will adhere better. To make it look neater what I'm going to do here is put some ribbons. I've been cutting them to size so that I can cover those areas where there are sharp edges from the mesh or the wires and also to camouflage 
the unsightly glue or those edges there inside. And I'm going to be applying some more ribbons on the top again to finish the look. It's much neater this way. Next I'll be painting my wooden rolling pin with this Waverly chalk paint in white and this will be my handle and I avoided painting the ends of my rolling pin so that I can adhere it onto the handles of my plastic cutting boards because sometimes if you paint it it will not adhere because of the paint so I'm just applying again my hot glue here but of course use E6000 for stronger hold especially if you're going to put something a little heavy inside so I'm just putting generous amount of hot glue on each end of the rolling pin and then look this is the perfect width or size so that's my handle and then I'm going to be reinforcing with more hot glue on the crevices here on the side and even in each hole of the handle of my plastic cutting board and I went ahead and cut strips of some nautical ropes that I have laying on hand and then I applied some glue and this will reinforce and also camouflage those connections there so that it will look a lot nicer and neater like so and I cut off more ropes here smaller ones and then I'm just gonna roll it and then make it like a button shape you know to just wind it and that will be camouflaging the hole I'm just gonna put it on top of where the hole of each handle of my cutting boards are like so I got this roll of wrapping paper with the black and white buffalo check or gingham style and I got this for a dollar a target dollar spot back in December I don't think they're carrying it now but they may appear again come fall or Christmas season but you can also buy some scrapbooking paper at Michaels and just look for this kind of style so I'm just gonna cut them to size so that they will fit on my cutting board so if you could see there there are some indentations so I'm just cutting it to size so that it will fit there so that I can have it in a buffalo check design now if you want to up for painting this you can also paint this cutting board so I'm just using Mod Podge to adhere my cutouts to the cutting boards and then I'm going to be applying more Mod Podge on the top and then I'm going to be removing some of the air bubbles using my roller or you can use an old credit card if you don't have a roller okay so this is the base of my caddy or basket I've used it as an organizer on the other video so watch the full video if you want to see how I used it there but this is now fast forward to summertime 2019 and this is a fall item that I just got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using it because when I saw the gingham pattern or the buffalo black and white checks pattern I figured this will work well here and I noticed that it is the right size of width so I don't really need to make extra cuts so what I'm just doing here is I am gently opening it like so it should be easy because it was just glued on and then I am just going to be using my knife to cut it and then a sharp pair of scissors to finish the job since this board already has scoring so it should be easy I'm not cutting the wood I'm cutting the paper so it's a good thing that there are already score marks here that I can use as my guide so see that and then I'm gonna score it on the other side as well just so I have a clean edge I'm using my scissors just to 
clean the edges so that they are neater to look at and then just carefully trimming all the excess paper. After I trimmed off the edges, I am also using my black pen or permanent marker and gently I am adding a little bit of finishing touch there, adding a black line there so that it'll look much more nicer and neater. And I'm going to be doing this on all sides of the three pieces that I cut out. And I'm going to go ahead and apply hot glue on each of the ends of my sticks and then the first one at the bottom I'm making sure that it's higher than the bottom frame and then I'm just aligning it evenly so that it will be the same width. Then I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other gingham wooden piece here applying glue again and then I'm going to be putting it or adhering it on the top part making sure that the frame is still showing on the top. Then I'll be applying last but not the least the center part which has the thankful sign with the pumpkins and then I'm just making sure that it's centered there will be even spacings in between those three sticks or wooden pieces that I cut out earlier. And my advice to you is if you want to use this all year round, using hot glue is the best because you can just yank it off easily and you can just decorate it again for whatever season. So I will say, you know, don't use E6000 on that portion. And then I'm going to be using my three galvanized tin cans here and I'm going to be putting some fake lavender silk flowers from Amazon. They look kind of real, okay, in my opinion. But you can put anything inside as long as it fits. Dollar Tree sells small containers as well. I'm just using what I already have. And then I'm just propping them up. So I figured I don't want to be too high. I don't want to cover the handle. So I'm folding it a little bit more. And then I am just inserting it. I'm not even cutting or trimming it. I'm just folding it and I just want to show or showcase the handle as well. I didn't want to cover it fully. So uh, let me know in the comment section down below whether you know you want the lavender flowers lower or do you want them higher or aligned to the handle of my crate basket. So I'm just rearranging them, making them even. So I'm putting the other one at the center to make it a little fuller there as well. So this is how it looks like and I love it. So it's my pre-fall decor. I call it pre-fall because it's not quite fall yet. It's still summer as you know. And I like the way it looks like with this three ceramic shiny pumpkins from Dollar Tree as well. And I have another project where I'm going to be mimicking those colors because I just love those color combination. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share to anyone who may be interested in this kind of style. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Please click on the notification bell icon as well so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. And after watching this, don't forget to hop on to Tisha's channel and watch her fall decor as well. She's very talented. I am excited to watch what she got for us. And I am actually going to head out there to watch her video. Take care now, everyone. Hope to talk to you again on my next video. Bye-bye.